This is one of Europe's biggest aluminium producers, but its days could be numbered. Greek heavy industry will receive electricity at fixed prices for a few more days. On January the 1st, contracts expire and prices will float at market rates of more than $300 per megawatt hour, compared to half that in Northern Europe, which is being subsidized. This plant may have to close unless the government steps in. The Industry Association says factory closures would also be a setback for the fight against climate change. If we lose metals in Europe, these metals are going to be imported. The imported metals will be produced mostly by countries that use coal as uh, fuel, some use oil, and definitely they have a much heavier footprint than European uh, companies. That's why for the self-sufficiency of Europe and for the global decarbonization, we must save the European metals industry. Aluminium smelting requires vast quantities of electricity. It's only profitable if the power is cheap, and the Ukraine war has caused the prices of coal, oil and gas to soar. A quarter of a million people working at non-ferrous metals plants across Europe are at risk of losing their jobs. Higher energy costs are having a ripple effect. Many butcheries which depend on refrigeration are being forced to shut their doors. Andreas Njotis says electricity costs have doubled this year. We're talking about small family businesses here. We try to keep our costs low so that we can stay open. Our last electricity bill was more than $9,000 and we paid $6,000. The government subsidy certainly helps. Profit margins are tiny, but we are viable. The question is how long will the subsidy last? Agriculture and transport costs are also up more industries that depend on government support. The government is spending more than $5 billion subsidizing electricity bills for households and businesses this year. And energy producers are being forced to spend twice that amount from their excess profits. All of that money together represents as much income as Greece made this year from tourism, its primary industry. So even if individual enterprises survive the energy crisis, Greece as a whole is losing enormous amounts of money. The Ukraine war is speeding up investment in renewable energy, but for now, governments are forced to offer fossil fuel subsidies to preserve jobs and livelihoods. John Saropoulos, Al Jazeera, Athens.